Hello, my name is Chris, and today we will put the equation for the period of a pendulum to the test. In my last video, which you can watch here, have you clicked it? Good. I told you that the period of a pendulum is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum over the square root of the acceleration due to gravity. Today, we test it out. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I will make pendulums that vary in mass and length. Then I will let them go through 10 oscillations, and I will get the time it takes for one oscillation by dividing the time it takes for 10 oscillations by 10. Let's try it. Okay, so first we're going to see how mass affects the period of a pendulum. This is a pendulum of 1 meter in length and has a weight of 5 pounds attached to it. Okay, so for 10 oscillations, it took 21.36 seconds. So for one oscillation, it took 2.136 seconds. Now let's double the mass and see if that changes. Okay, double the mass, here it goes. For double the mass, 10 oscillations took 21.77 seconds. The difference between that and half the mass is negligible, so we can safely conclude that the period of the pendulum does not depend on its mass. Let's try length. So now we've cut the length of the pendulum in half which, according to the equation that I gave you earlier, should reduce the period by a factor of the square root of 2. Let's see if that holds up. For 10 oscillations, it took 14.65 seconds. Okay, so these are the results that you would expect for the period of a pendulum. A pendulum is a length one meter and half a meter, and these are the results that we actually got. As you can see, they only differ within reasonable experimental error, so we can conclude that the equation does hold up. Thank you for watching. We are now halfway through the series. Next time, we try our luck building a circuit. See you then.